Thank you. Welcome to our workshop. I'm Patrick from Limbic Life. This is Mark. So we developed a chair for hands-free 3D navigation in VR. In real life, we use our legs to walk around and we can type on our phones and we can look other places and that works perfectly well. And in VR, we kind of want the same thing. We want to be able to locomote, navigate and use our hands and our gaze independent for other things too. And in VR, we have another interesting thing is which we can go up and down, we can fly, right? So imagine you have a, a VR room, a dedicated room, you can walk around, but you can bump into things, you need your space, and you, you cannot fly. I can jump, but gravity always comes back. So we have, starting on how the human nervous system works, how the brain and body work, we have developed a system that allows us to move very freely in a chair, very safely. We've put sensors on it, and now we can use that to fly through VR. And our hands are also free. Because with a new technology like VR, it's always at the beginning people use what they have. Oh, I have a joystick, let's use the joystick. I have a pointer, let's use the pointer. But these technologies are from the past, and they might not be ideal for the new technology that is here. So, we have the chair. It's a normal chair, so it fits at every desk. You can sit in it. And now I'm very comfortable and balanced. And as you can see, I can move my legs. I can go left, right, forward, slower. So we took people, we took old people because they've never seen a video game before. And we told them, okay, we give them the goggles, fly a helicopter, fly fast. They go like this, go left, like this, up, down. So we watched people, how they behave. And after, according to this, we mapped. Our, our, our system. So you're welcome to try it, please. Step up. I'm Patrick, hello. Nice to meet you. You stand in front and you turn around and just sit down, yeah, all the way back. Sit all the way back with your thighs as far back as you can. Thank you. Put your knees apart a bit. Apart. Écarté. Voilà. Perfect. So, and now I show you the first thing. See, you're, you're smiling, huh? you're feeling, move your hips, da, 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 we're dancing good. Yeah. And put your hand against mine. And you see you're not falling. Huh? Uh -huh. Your spinal, and this is very important for VR. In VR, we'll be looking up and down, we're flying. And the fact that we are stable and safe is very, very important. Mm -hmm. huh? mm -hmm. And I'll show you a second aspect. Put your, hand, put your fingers on my hand. And now you move your hips. So you see that you can have your hands and your eyes, look here your eyes independently of what your hips and legs are doing. This is another very important aspect for VR because we want to be able to move our hands, to grab things, to change things, look here, look there, and our legs keep on moving us. Ready for the goggles? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so first, I'm going to show you a demo where you just fly. Okay? okay? Mm -hmm. So keep your toes on the ground. Mm -hmm. You put on the Oculus, please. Yeah. Mm. Is it on okay? Uh, it's fine. It's, it's fine? fine? Good. <laughs> okay, she doesn't need that yet. We're doing space drugs. Uh, sure. But I still need it because I need to. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, sure, sure. Okay, now you look straight ahead. Yeah, and put your knees like this. Okay, it will be a one moment to start. And you can see in the screen what she is seeing. Yeah. Okay, and then we'll give you uh, the... No, it's fine, actually. Yeah, it's good. Okay, now you, you um, move your knees left. Yeah, you find the cubes. There are cubes. See the cubes? You fly towards the cubes. Look left more. Do, 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 do. Yeah, and you see this field of cubes. Go there, fly there. So try, yeah? Yeah, if you put your knees apart, you go faster. Si tu écartes, tu ça va plus rapidement. Comme ça, tu vas en arrière. Et si tu écartes, yeah? And you can move your knees down to go down. Exactly, huh? Mm -hmm. And now you try to fly to the cubes. And you fly only with your legs. So I can actually hold you here, and you only move your knees. Seulement les genoux. Tu bouges que avec les genoux. Tu vois? Et puis toi, you go right, you go left. Yeah? 
<laughs> yeah, so this is a game you can navigate around. And this game shows people they can explore, they can try, because people can find out what it is to fly in real 3D. And one very important effect <laughs> is nauseation. If you do this with a joystick after two minutes, you feel seasick very, very fast. And because this system, she's using her eyes, her head and her spine. Mm -hmm. So in this system, nauseation is much, much weaker than in other VR systems. Mm -hmm. huh? How is it? Yeah, it's fine. It's nice. I'm, I'm a little bit scared of... <laughs> of hitting the cubes? Yeah, exactly. I think you can hit three till you explode. Okay. Uh, so. No, you can hit more. It does 50 oh. damage and you have 400 shields. Oh, okay, good. So eight, you can hit eight. Okay. Yeah? And now you can fly into the cubes again, and I'll show you something really funny. Okay. See that you see the cubes straight ahead, go more left, yeah. And now, uh -huh. you have a zoom, huh? Uh -huh. So you can do very, very delicate, precise movements, but if you want to, you can just go and fly really fast through a territory. See, now you're far out in space again. Yeah. So the idea, this is a new interface. It's safe, you can sit on it. And so we create different ways of interacting with the computer, which Mark can talk about if you have individual questions. Mm -hmm. So it can act like a joystick, it can act like a keyboard, it can do different things for your application. Mm -hmm. Would you like to play another game where you can shoot things? Yeah. Okay. Mark will show you. Okay. And you saw in this step, you did not use your hands, huh? Mm -hmm. We could have put your hands to, to play the piano. That would have worked perfectly. Next time we'll bring a piano. So can I ask you, you see a menu now. Yes. On your right, there should be a, an, a, an arrow and it says reset view in app. And now, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, look at that directly. Now look straight ahead. Okay, now. Three up. Yeah. Awesome, you're good. Okay. Now, um, yeah, the controls are very similar. The only difference is now you get to shoot, so I'll give you the controller. Okay. Yeah, okay. okay, with your index fingers, they are on the trigger, both hands. Uh -huh. Yeah, and you, you press those, and then you see a laser, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and you, uh, the laser follows where you uh, look. Oh, okay. So, like cyclones from the X-Men. Okay. All right? Uh-huh. I have to push both uh, fingers at the same time. Yeah, that's better, uh, yeah. You, you can just shoot one if you want, but it just does double the damage, so it helps you more. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and navigation is the same, and those blue crystals, you always fly through them. They give you a shield. Okay. Okay? Yeah. Automatic, so yeah. And later you will have red thingies that shoot you, but not yet. And what should I shoot? The, the, red? the red you can shoot, but you don't have to. And later you have red ones with eyes, and those you have to shoot because otherwise they shoot you. Yeah. There you go, yeah. You don't have to look down to fly down. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So hinge at your hips. Like you're dancing salsa. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so you fly with your legs and you aim. So this is a very important, now we have gaze, body separation. So you can look where you want and you fly independently. Your flying is with your knees. Not crash. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so exactly, moment. Do you, what? you fly with your knees? Uh -huh. Exactly. And you can look where you like. Exactly, catch that, catch that. Good, good, good. Yes. <laughs> Excellent. In this, so you're safe, you're sitting, it fits at every desk. Yes. And now you can make crazy movements. Let's dance or swim or... So you can, you can also lean very sideways and stay in that position. Exactly. Oh. So your range of movement in the chair, let's make a competition. We make a competition. Who can move more? So your range of movement is very... Okay, so I'm going like this. Can you beat that? With the hands, feet in the air. Wow, okay, she beats me already in the first try. Yes. Both of being a dancer. Ah, okay, yeah, no. Um, okay, so we'll do a trick. I will, I will help you. Mm -hmm. So what you do is, I'll touch you here. Okay. Don't move this. Okay. Put, put your arms, to, your hands together. And now you just move your knees. Just move your legs to balance the board. You see? So you don't need your upper body. You perfectly 
<laughs> you're still leaning. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that's something that I do. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. Even yeah. while playing game, even if it's this with this. I yeah, know. yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly. Like good, good, excellent. <laughs> yes, perfect. Yeah, so this level is a little more difficult already. Yes. Yeah. We'll give you a flying game now, okay? Okay. Cool. Yes. The, the, yeah. uh, just stay like this. But I recommend you sit further back in the chair and put your knees apart a bit more because now you're going to use your knees. That's difficult for this. But yeah. yeah, I'm standing in front of you so nobody can see. <laughs> uh, turn left, move your knees left. Okay. Move, move Doesn't matter. Properly. The, the, oh. you just really move the shells like this. Yeah, there you go. Not that much, maybe. Yes, no. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's restart her so she's in the cubes because she's not going to find them. Oh, she does. Yeah, you fly towards those cubes. So you open your knees and that makes you go forward. Uh oh. You got to find the cubes again. Turn left. So turn with your knees. Move your knees left. Oh, she's just spacing. No reaction. <laughs> Hi. Yeah. Excellent. Yes. So we get dizzy. This is very interesting because watching the screen, you get dizzy, but she's not getting dizzy. Why is that? Because we are right now, our spine is not turning. We're just standing here. Whether she is using her whole spine to move, so that she does not get nauseous. And one of the biggest issues in VR is nause nausea nauseation. So if you do this in a normal chair or with a joystick, you get seasick very fast. Boom. <laughs> yeah. And you can roll, you can do loops, you can do everything. But it's mostly to show. Okay. okay. Give me your hands. Give okay. me your hands. Like this. Yeah. And continue flying. Fly around. This is just to demonstrate you really do not need your hands to fly, huh? It's easier now, huh? Whoop. Is it good? Yeah. <laughs> okay. You can take off the Oculus. Yeah. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> it was fun. <laughs> <laughs> yes, so if you have uh, questions about how to use it, you know, for your application or development, please ask Mark about the technical, how to connect. the. It will come to market in the summer with a Wi-Fi chip. Mm -hmm. So it can act either as part of a Wi-Fi network existing or it can be its own hotspot transmitter. So you can hook it up, for example, to a Samsung smartphone, Samsung Gear. So you just have the chair and the phone or the chair and the computer. Mm -hmm.